Hello. Hello and welcome to Ticker Villa. I'm at the top of the house. Hello. I'm at the bottom of the house and I'm sitting still. And I'm running around. I'm running in. Whoa! Woo -hoo -hoo. And out. Woo. Up. And down. Standing still and running around. Do you know what all of these things are? They're opposites. That's right, Amber. In and out, up and down, standing still or spinning around. The world is full of opposites. See what opposites can be found. Yes and no. Stop and go. Fast and slow. Above and below. Opposites, opposites. All of these things are opposites. Oh no, starting to rain. Wet ah, and dry. Ah. Laugh <laughs> and cry. <laughs> no and why? Because and why? Hot, poor, and cold, young and old, shy or bold. This is what we're told. Opposites, opposites. All of these things are opposites. No, they aren't. Yes, they are. We can't have one without the other. If we didn't go in, we couldn't go out. It's fun when we discover that the opposite of whispering, whisper, whisper, whispering, is, is when, when we shout, 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 shout. The opposites, opposites. All of these things are opposites. Jump up high, crouch down low, say goodbye, goodbye, and then hello. Oh, hello. Tap your head, then tap your toe. Sleep in your bed, then get up and go, 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 go. In and out, up and down, standing still or spinning around. The world is full of opposites, lots of opposites. In, out, in, out. Lots of opposites. Stand still, turn around. Lots of opposites too. Now. <laughs> ah, well, you were standing still, so I thought I'd keep turning around. Oh, I see. Ah. You were still doing an opposite. Mm, yes, I was. Oh, have we finished then? Maybe yes, or maybe no. <laughs> Ooh, maybe we'll see some more opposites through the windows. Follow me. How many windows? One, two, three. Round, square, or arched? Which one will it be? It's the arched window. Fast. Slow. Happy. Sad. Please. 
know. I'd have a go at making a couple of opposites too. I'm going to make one big house and one small house. So, big house first, I think. It's actually going to be a big block of flats. I'm going to use this old cereal box that I've painted a blue colour. You can paint it any colour you like. Now, we need some windows and a door for our block of flats. So over here I've cut out various shapes from coloured paper. So I think we'll use this big orange one for our doorway. Now if we put some glue on the back of this piece of paper, there we are, and stick it at the bottom like that. There we go. That's a good doorway isn't it? Now for the windows, I've cut out four purple squares for the windows, so we turn those over and glue them down. It's a good idea to put a piece of paper underneath when you're gluing, because it can get a bit messy. One window. You're going to count with me? Two windows, three windows, and one more makes four windows. There we go. That's a good block of flats. It's got three floors. It's got one, two, three. Right, we'll pop our flats over to one side for a minute and now it's time to make our small house. Now I've used a smaller box for this, this is an old light bulb box but you can use anything, an old tea bag box or something else. And I've painted it a nice yellow colour because it's going to be a country house. Right so over here we've got some more little shapes here so I think we'll use the small orange one for our doorway. So some more glue. I think we'll just pop that in the corner this time. There we are. And these two little green windows are an arched shape, aren't they? A bit like our arched window. So, more gluing. Use up this glue around here. That's it. That one can go there. There we are. And then the last one. and go 
There. Right. Now, there's something missing from our country house. Do you know what it is? We need a roof, don't we? Now, for the roof, I've used a piece of yellow card. And what you do is make a fold in the middle, like that, push it down, and then that is going to be our roof. But before we put it on, I thought we'd have a thatched roof. So, I've got some straw over here and a different type of glue. This is quite gloopy. So if we pop some glue and spread it all over the card, you may need to get some help with this. <laughs> it's really, really messy. There we are. More glue. A little bit more in the corner, I think. There we go. Right, pop that to one side. And then you take the straw and sprinkle it all over the top, like that. It's great fun. Sounds like the rain. A bit more. There, looking good. Right, and then what you can do is shake all the extra bits and pieces that haven't stuck onto that sheet of paper to keep it nice and tidy. And then you can just fold that up and put it to one side for a minute. Right, back to our house. And we pop the roof on the top like that. And then a couple of pieces of sticky tape one that side, and one that side, oops, there we go, and then exactly the same at the front of our house, one bit there, and to finish it off, one bit there, oops, and there we have it, two opposites one large block of flats and one small country house. I really like your block of flats and house, Justin. Ah, oh, thanks, Samba. I can really imagine people living in them, you know. Mm. I wonder what room is behind which window. Mm. Mm. Hey, why don't we play a game about that? I can do the actions that I might do in that room, yeah. and then you can guess which room I mean. Oh, okay. okay. Shall I go first? Oh, yes. Right. Um, washing your face, brushing your teeth, um, in the bathroom. Yeah. That's right. Did you guess that one? <laughs> can I have a go now? Uh, oh, I know. Uh, oh, so you've closed your eyes and you're snoring. So, Tamba's sleeping. So whereabouts do you usually sleep? Hmm. In the bedroom! Yes. <laughs> Shall I do one? Yeah. Right, OK. Where am I? Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> You're walking downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> and up the stairs. That's right. Uh, in the hallway. You're That's right. That's right, the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah, that sounds like something else. It's the windows. <laughs> and I think we're going to find out about where someone else lives through them. Come on, let's go and have a look, shall we? How many windows? One, two, three. Round, square or arched, which one will it be? It's the round window. In May, many animals in the forest wake up from a very long sleep called hibernation. But look, this animal is still fast asleep. It's a dormouse. Other creatures like hedgehogs have woken from their sleep and are out and about. The dormouse waits till it's really warm before climbing out of its nest. Dormice sleep for more than half of the year. Just think, if you slept for that long, you'd miss all the winter. He looks a bit different from a normal mouse. His ears and eyes are bigger. 
This means that he can see and hear better when he walks about in the dark. And he has a bushy tail too. This is Hans. He lives in the forest with his wife, Helda. In the summer, the dormice like to sneak into Hans' house to find food. The dormice climb up the branches on the trees to get to their house. First, up into the roof. Are there any dormice here? Nope. None of my friends are here. Maybe there's something for me to eat up here. No, there isn't any food here either. I'll have to search the rest of the house for food. There's always a window open here. Ah, yes, I'll climb into the living room. Look down there! A bowl of fruit! Ah! Something to eat at last! Yummy! Coo -coo. The cuckoo clock says four o'clock! Tea time! The dormouse hides away and watches Helda take the biscuits from the cupboard then put them on the kitchen table. She then goes outside to call hands. Tea time! Wow! Biscuits! My favourite! The Dormouse munches away on Hans' biscuits. <gasps> What's that? The Dormouse can hear something coming. It's Hans! The Dormouse runs away just in time. Where have all the biscuits gone? Dormice don't normally eat biscuits. They like to eat insects and fruit and seeds. There are lots here in the forest. Dormice also like to lick the water off the plants. Before the sun rises, the Dormouse scurries back to the house to see what Hans and Helda are doing. He's very nosy. He sneaks into the bedroom whilst Hans and Helda are still asleep. Helda wakes up. Then she wakes her husband. What's that noise? It's that cheeky mouse! chases the Dormouse away with his broom. No, no, Dormouse, he says. You're not allowed in here. <laughs> the cheeky Dormouse escapes through his little hole. But he'll be back to find more food another day. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cheeky Dormouse, wasn't it? It was, wasn't it? And I've got a mouse for you just here. <gasps> I know a rhyme about a mouse and a clock. Do you know it, VJ? I think I know the one you mean. Well, why don't I say the words and you do the actions? Good idea. If you know it, why don't you join in? Hmm. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. <laughs> the clock struck one. The mouse ran down. <laughs> Hickory dickory dock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's our clock. Let's go and see what time it is. And I'm going down the stairs just like our mouse. Tickabilla, tockabilla, tickabilla, tock. What's the time on the Tickabilla clock? Well, the long hand is pointing to the number 12. So that means it's something o'clock. And the short hand is pointing to the 
number one. So that means it's one o'clock. But what's underneath the clock? It's a rabbit. This book is called Moonlight Lily. All was quiet on the farm. The lights had gone off in the farmhouse. The cows were in the cow shed. The hens were in the hen house. The sheep were in the sheep pen with their lambs. All the animals were sound asleep. Even Lily, the white rabbit. Far away, an owl hooted in the dark. Out of the woods and into the moonlight crept a fox. He slipped through the cornfield and into the farmyard. Past the barn, past the hen house and past the cow shed he trotted until he came to where Lily the rabbit slept. Then, boo, he said. Finley, cried Lily and she jumped for joy. Lily and Finley had long been friends. It's Finley, clucked Henrietta to the other hens. Quick, or we'll miss the moonlight dance. Lily and Finley love to dance, and the other animals love to accompany them. So Henrietta gathered the hens, and together they began to cluck softly. Buck, 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 buck. There was a low moo as the cows joined in. Then the sheep began too, with their lambs ba baaing. The old owl hooted, whoo doo The cat caterwauled, wow! And the mice squeaked, ee ee! And the donkey clip-clopped his hooves to the rhythm. Lily and Finley whirled around the farmyard, and Lily led the dance. First a waltz, followed by a tango. They tried a quick step, and then a foxtrot, of course. Lily and Finley bowed to the musicians. Everyone clapped. Lily was quite out of breath, but there was more to come. For Finley was a master magician. Bunches of flowers appeared from old buckets. Strings of knotted hankies unraveled on and on and on and on. Finley saved his best magic until last. He reached behind Henrietta's ear and pulled out a speckled egg. That always made the hens cluck with laughter. No one wanted the moonlight party to end, and Lily had one more game to play. There! The scarecrow had a much better view from the top of the haystack, and he was very pleased with his new nose. <laughs> How the farmer will scratch his head in the morning, laughed Lily. All too soon, the sky began to get lighter. The old owl had gone to bed. The mice had scurried home. The cows <gasps> yawned. The lambs dozed. The cat was just about to shut her eyes when, oh, oh, oh no, shrieked the cockerel loudly. He just loves doing that. It was time for Finley to go. Don't you want to come with me? he asked Lily. Then you could dance whenever you like. Lily looked out across the fields. The wild rabbits were still dancing in the dawn light. Then she looked back at her hutch. The children would miss me so much, she sighed. And they might think you had been eaten by a fox, laughed Finley. Well, until another night then, Moonlight Lily. And with a flash of his tail, he was gone. The sun rose and the cockerel crowed loudly. Oh, oh, no! The farmhouse door swung open. The farmer looked around the farmyard and across the field to the haystack. He scratched his head. All seemed quiet on the farm. Until that was, the children came out to feed their rabbit. Hey, VJ, Tamba, come and see what I've got here. I finally found the right place for my country house right here on the farm. There we go, with all the animals in the yard and the field. Ah, oh, that looks good there, Justin. Oh, thank you. Yes, it looks like the real countryside now. Somewhere old MacDonald might live. 
Ah, and why don't you join in with all the noises too? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some sheep, E-I-E-I-O With a ba-ba here and a ba-ba there Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba-ba Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Now what else do you think he had on the farm? I know Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O With a woof woof here and a woof woof there Here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof woof Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O What else did he have on the farm? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had some hens, E-I-E-I-O With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck Old, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O What's next do you think? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O and on that farm he had some cows, E-I-E-I-O With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Can you spot some more animals? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O and on that farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O With a here and a there Here a there a everywhere a Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O Now what else did he have? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O With a nay, nay here and a nay, nay there Here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay, nay Old, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O <laughs> <laughs> That was great fun! <laughs> <laughs> what a lot of animals! Yeah! Why don't you have a go at making some animal noises? <laughs> <laughs> See you next time! Bye-bye! Tick-a-bim-a, tick-a-bim-a